Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Welcome to my channel, Bag of Day Crochet, where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So if that interests you, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And today we're going to be talking about crochet. I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this granny square here. Now I do have a, a video uh, showing how to sew granny squares uh, together, which I will put a link to that below in the description box. You'll also find a link to over a thousand free crochet crochet tutorials all for you to enjoy. All right, so this is Picasso's granny. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so these are the same. They're just done opposite. As you can see, the colors are opposite. Which one's your favorite? I kind of like this one, I think. But they're both very pretty and very colorful. So let me go ahead and give you a measurement on them. So they are approximately about an eight inch square, eight and a, eight and a half. Let's see if this one measures the same, probably pretty close to it. <clears throat> yeah. So eight and a quarter, eight and a half inch square is about what they measure. Now this is not hard to do. I know this, this drop puff stitch flower here thing in jig. It looks hard, but it's not. If you can double crochet, I'm going to show you how to do the rest, okay? It's, you can do this. You got it. Think of a, what a pretty blanket, bag, uh, anything that you want them to make with this. Think how that would look. Uh, cardigan, anything. So I'm going to set these to the side, and I'll talk about the yarn that I use. So for the colorful yarn, I use this one, which is my favorite from Ice Yarns. It's called... It's their Picasso yarn, um, but it's done in, it's the color rainbow. It is a medium weight number four acrylic polyester blend. And for that black yarn, this is, uh, I'm just using scrap yarn actually, but this is Premier Basic in the color charcoal. Um, it is a medium weight number four acrylic. Now for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm going to do it not in black, but I'm going to do it in this white here, which is also Premier Basic which is a medium weight number four acrylic. I think it's actually cream in the, co in the color cream. So, cause that black is pretty hard to see. And then we're gonna be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So depending on whatever color you wanna start with, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna do this one again, but I'm gonna make it white. And then I'm gonna use the rainbow for my little puff flower things here on the end. All right. Let's go ahead and start. Start with a slip knot on your hook. And we're gonna go ahead and work a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. If you'd like to use a magic circle here, that would be fine. I'm not going to, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. So I go into that first stitch and I throw my tail over and I use my middle finger to put in between the hook and the chain and then I do my slip stitch. That keeps that circle open for me there so I can start working in it. So I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. It doesn't count as anything. So we're going to work back through the center of this ring here and we're going to work five double crochets. So go ahead and yarn over and go through the ring and draw up a loop and come back up through the ring and then do your double crochet like normal. So that's one double. We want to do a total of five. There's two. Three. Four. And there's five. Now we're going to do a chain of two. One, two. And that's actually going to be the one of the corners of our granny square. So if you need to slide your stitches over as you go, that's perfectly fine. Now we're going to work five double crochets again through the center of the ring. There's one, two, three, Four, five, 
chain two, which is another corner of our granny square. Slide those over, and now I'm going to work five double crochets again through the center of the ring. There's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to chain two again. One, two. I'm going to do, keep sliding over if you need to, five more double crochets through the center of the ring. There's one, two, three, four, and there's five. All right, so if you look, don't do any change yet or anything. We have four sets of five double crochets, and you can see we have three chain two spaces. Now we're not gonna chain two here at the end. What we're, we're, gonna, what we're gonna do is we are going to work a half double crochet into the very first double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over and go into that very first double crochet and work a half double crochet. And that is going to act as our chain two space. That way we're not doing any slip stitching, so there will be no visible seam here on this granny square. There we go. So since that half double is acting as a chain two space, we now have four chain two spaces and uh, four sets of five double crochet. And that will end round one. Now you can pull your tail to close up that center circle a little bit later, uh, or a little bit, and then later we'll sew it all, uh, sew it closed all the way. So let's go ahead and start round two. We're gonna start with a chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're gonna work right back into this space and we're gonna work two double crochets into that space. So there's one and there's two. Now we're gonna work one double crochet into the next two stitches. Now remember to get this very first one here that we worked the half double crochet into because that counts as a stitch. So go into that one and work one double and then we go to the next stitch and we work one double. And now we're going to chain one. We're gonna skip one and we're gonna work one double crochet in the remaining two before our chain two space. So chain one, skip that one, and then double crochet into the next two. There's one, and there's two. Now we're at a corner. So we're gonna work in the corner here, the remaining corners here, the same thing always. We're gonna go into the chain two space, and we are going to work two double crochets. There's one, there's two, and then we're gonna chain two and go back into the same spot and work two more double crochets. There's one, and there's two. Now we're gonna do the same thing here, what we did over here. So again, we're gonna work a double crochet in the first two stitches. So pull these over so you don't miss that very first one. Put a double crochet into it and then a double crochet into the next. And then we're gonna chain one, and then we will skip one, and we we'll put a double crochet in the remaining two before our chain two space. So skip this one, double crochet into the next, and then double crochet into the next. And now we're at our chain two space, so we're gonna do what we do in our chain two space, we're gonna work into the space and we're gonna work two double crochets. There's one, there's two. We're gonna chain two, go back in and work two more double crochets. And this is a pattern we're gonna repeat all the way around until we get back to our starting point. So again, slide these over just a bit. Put one double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one. two, chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next two. And 
and now I'm at my chain two space so in that chain two space I'll work my two doubles chain two and two doubles so go ahead and repeat this pattern until you get we only have one more side to go until we get back here to our starting point all right when you come to the end here I've made it to my last chain two space. So in the beginning, we put two double crochets into that chain two space. And now here at the end, we're going to put two double crochets into that chain two space. That way it matches our other chain two spaces. And we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet here. And that will end row two. So what you should have now is four chain spaces here. And then you should have on each side, eight double crochets on each side and a chain one space on each side. Alrighty. So we'll go ahead and start round three. We're going to do a chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to go back into this space here and we're going to work our two double crochets. So there's one and two. And we're going to work a double crochet into the next two stitches. And remember to get this one right here that we worked our half double crochet into. That's our first one. So double crochet into that one. And then we double crochet into the next one. Now we are going to chain one, skip one, and then double crochet into the next, like that. And then again, we're going to chain one. We're gonna skip this chain space here and double crochet into the next, which is the one directly after the chain space. And then one more time, we're gonna chain one we're going to skip one and double crochet in the remaining two stitches before our chain space. So there's one and two. Now, if you look at what we've done here, we have now one, two, three chain one spaces. So now we're at the corner. So we're going to do what we always do at the corner. We're going to work two double crochets. There's one, two, a chain of two, and two more double crochets into that same spot. There's one and two. So we're going to repeat what we just did again on every side. I don't know why that blue is in there. So, <laughs> all right. So again, we start off by putting a double crochet into the first two stitches here. So there's one and two then we're going to chain one we are going to skip one and double crochet into the next it's the one right before the chain one space then we're going to chain one again skip that chain one space and double crochet into the next which is the one right after that chain one space from the previous row we're going to chain one again skip one and we'll have two stitches that remain double crochet in those remaining two stitches before our chain two space and again if you look it will be the same as the other side you'll have three chain one spaces this time and in the chain two space we're going to do what we always do we're going to do two double crochets into the space a chain of two and two more double crochets there's one and there's two and we're going to repeat it again so we're going to put a double crochet into the first two stitches there's one two we're going to chain one and skip one and double crochet in the next, which is the double crochet right before that chain one space. And then we're going to chain one, skip the chain one space and double crochet into the next chain 
For the next double crochet, which is right after the chain one space, chain one again, skip one, and then we will put one double crochet into the remaining two stitches before our corner or our chain two space. And if you look again, we will have three chain one spaces. And in the chain two space here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna work two doubles, chain two and two doubles. So we're just gonna repeat this pattern all the way around until we get back to our starting point, which we're almost there. We only have one more row to go. So I'll meet back up with you when we get back to our starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. So I have made it to my chain two spot. And remember we put two doubles in the beginning. Now we're gonna go back in, we're gonna put two doubles here at the end into that chain space. And again, we're gonna end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet. And that will end row three. And if you look, you'll have, get it here. Ten double crochets in between each of your four points. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, in between each of the chain two spaces, and you'll have three chain one spaces, and that is on each side. So why don't we go ahead and begin row four. Yeah, row four. All right, we're gonna chain one, which does not count as a stitch, and again, we're gonna go back in here, and we're gonna work two double crochets into this space. There's one. And there's two. And we're gonna put a double crochet into the next two stitches. And as always, our first stitch is the same one that we worked that half double crochet into. So make sure you go into that one. So there's one, and then one into the next. Now we are going to chain one, and we are going to skip one and double crochet into the next. And we will chain one, skip this chain one space, and double crochet into this double cro next double crochet. Chain one, skip this chain one space, double crochet into the next double crochet. Again, chain one, skip this chain one space here, and double crochet into the next double crochet. One more time, we're gonna chain one and skip one, and you'll have, after you skip that one, you'll have two stitches that remain before our chain two space. So skip that and double crochet into those last two stitches before our chain two space. Now, if you look this time around, you are going to have five chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five. So all these chain one spaces are where we gonna, we're gonna work that puff, um, thing flower thing all right so in this chain two space we're gonna work what we always do we're gonna work two doubles one two we're gonna chain two go back into the same space and work two more doubles there's one and there's two now we're gonna repeat again on all the sides what we just did so we're gonna put a double crochet into the first two stitches. There's one. There's two. And then we're gonna chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the chain space, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, skip this chain space, double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet into the next. One more time, chain one, skip one, and a double crochet into the last two before our chain two space.
you see we will have five one two three four five chain one spaces um this time around so we're in in the corner we're going to put our two doubles chain two two doubles so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until i make it back to my starting point all right i've come to the end here um of round four here and i'm at where i started so i need to put my two double crochets into this chain two space now, since this is the last, I'm gonna tie off here and switch colors. So instead of doing a half double crochet into this first stitch like normal, I'm just going to chain two, I tied off too early, and slip stitch into the first double crochet here. If I can get it because I messed up here. Tie this off. There we go. Like that. So at the end of round four now, you should have, um, in between the chain two spaces, you should have a total of um, 12 double crochets and one, two, three, four, five chain one spaces. And that is in between each one of these. All right. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring in my um, other color. Remember, you can use any colors that you choose. I'm going to use this rainbow and we're going to make those puff. They're not hard. Don't worry. You can do it. Now you can start in any chain two space that you want. All right. Go ahead and pull your yarn through. Chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Okay. Now this time we're going to work three double crochets into this chain two space. There's one. two and three so we put three there into that first chain two space now we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three and then you have one more double crochet here before this chain one space. Put two double crochets into this spot. So two into the same stitch. Just like that. Let me go ahead and clip this tail off so it's not in the way while I'm showing you how to do that. That puff, puff stitch that we're gonna be doing. All right. All right, so now we're gonna chain two one two and we're going to be making that little leaf um that you saw with the puff stitches so we're going to be working in this puff all the puff, all the uh chain one spaces on the end so this one this one this one and then this one and this one none of these in the middle get worked in okay so we'll go ahead and start off we're going to make sure you chain two we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into this very first chain one space and we're gonna draw up a tall loop, and we wanna do that three times. So that was number one. Again, yarn over, go into the same spot, draw up a loop, that's two times. Again, yarn over, go into the same spot, draw up a loop, that's three times. Now we're gonna move down to this row, this first space right here of this row. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to yarn over, go into that spot, but we're going to draw up a loop that's even longer, even with the rest. So there, we're going to do that three times. That's one. Yarn over, go into the same spot. Long loop, that's two. Yarn over in the same spot, draw up a tall loop, and that is three. Now we got a lot of loops on our hook, but we still got more to go. Now we're going to go down here to this row it's actually row two where we did that single chain one space here. And we're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna yarn over, go all the way down. We're gonna draw up a even taller loop. One, we're gonna do it three times. Yarn over, same spot. Two. Three. 
Now, if you go up a row, directly up a row, you'll see this space here. It's the chain one space before we hit all these double crochets, and we're going to do the same thing there. We're going to yarn over, go into that space, draw the tall loop three times. There's one, two, there's three, and then we got one more space right here before. So last chain one space here before these doubles. We're going to do the same thing in that. So we're going to yarn over and go into it three times. Draw up a loop, kind of a little bit tall. One, two, three. And three and that is a lot of loops on your hook now we need to yarn over and go through all those loops and don't get discouraged if you can't do it the first try it took me quite a few tries to get them to go through all the loops at once and I still may not even be able to do it I could try but it doesn't mean that it'll work for me here we go and once you go through all the loops do a chain one to lock it and then we're going to do a chain of two one two there it is now we're going to go into this next double crochet here and we're going to work two double crochets into it one two and then we're going to put one double crochet in the remaining three double crochets there's one two and three. Now we're at our chain two space. So in this chain two space, this time we're gonna work three double crochets. There's one, two, and three. Chain two, go back into the chain two space and work three more doubles. There's one, two, and three. So this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. Please, please don't get discouraged. It just takes a little practice. But once you get it down, you'll be able to do it just like that. Are you ready? Let's do it again. All right, we're going to start off by putting one double crochet into the first three stitches. There's one, two, three. And then we're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, and then we're going to chain two. Now we're going to start this little leaf thing again. Now we're only working in the chain one spaces on the outside. Remember, this will be we're working this one first, this one second, this very bottom one third, and then we'll go back up and work on this one fourth, and then this one last. Are you ready? You got this. Yarn over and go into this first space. Draw up a loop three times. Draw it up kind of tall. There's one, two, three. Now we're going to move down to the first chain one space of the row below and do the same thing, but we're going to talk, uh, we're going to draw up a little taller. Yarn over, go in, drop a little taller. That's one, two, three. Let's do it again way down here at the bottom. It's actually row number two, the only chain one space into that spot. We're going to do the same thing, yarn over and go into it, but we're going to draw up really tall this time. There's one. two, three. Now we're going to go, here's where we just worked, the next row up, chain space on the end here, and do the same thing. Yarn over, go into it, drop a loop three times. There's one, two, three, and then this last chain space here on this top row, do the same thing. Yarn over and go into it three times. Draw up a little tall. There's one, two, and 
and three. A lot of loops on that hook. It's okay. You can do it. Yarn over and go through all those loops. Like that. And then we're going to chain one. Grab it better. Chain one to lock it in the, in the place. There we go. Now we're going to do a chain of two. One, two. And we're going to go into the very next stitch and work two double crochets. There's one and there's two. And then we're going to put one double crochet in the remaining three stitches before our chain two space. There's one, two, three. And then in our chain two space, we are going to work three double crochets. There's one, two, three. We're going to chain two and go back into that space and work three more doubles. I'll try to hide that little bitty tail as I go. Two. And there is three. Now we're going to do the same thing here and here that we just did. And it's okay if it kind of slants in a little bit. We're going to take care of that on the next row. If yours does, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine. Let's go ahead and I'll, we'll do it one more time. So we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. Try to hide that tail there. There's one, two, three, and then the next one we're going to put two double crochets into that stitch. There's one and two. And then we're going to chain two. Remember not to forget to chain two. And remember the spaces that we work in are the ones on the end. This would be first one, second one, third one fourth one and fifth one. We do not do anything with these ones in the middle. All right, let's do it. Go in this first one, we're gonna yarn over, go into it, drop a loop three times. That's one, two, three. Go down to the next row, the first chain space on the next row, yarn over, go into it, draw up a taller loop three times. That's one, two, three. Again, there's a very bottom chain one space. Yarn over, go into it, draw up an even taller loop three times. That's one, two, Three. And we yarn over and go in the row up. Right here's where we just worked. So this stitch right here. Do the same thing. Yarn over, drop a loop three times. That's one, two, three. And we got one space left here at the top. Yarn over and go into that space three times. One, two, Three. Now we need to yarn over and go through all those loops on our hook. Like that. And then we will chain one to lock it into place. There it is. Now we're going to chain two. One, two. And into the next stitch we're going to work two double crochets. One, two, double crochet into the next three, just one double in the next three. There's one, two, and three. And then in this chain two space, we're going to work our three doubles. There's one, two, three, 
chain two, and three more doubles. So I'm going to repeat this. We got one more time that we need to do it. It's looking, it's looking pretty dang cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out and I'll meet back up with here at the end. All right, I'm coming to the end here. And remember that we started with three double crochets here. So let's go ahead and put three, double, three more double crochets here in this last chain two space. I'm gonna switch color. So I'm gonna chain two I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. I'm going to clip that yarn off and I'm going to go back to my white color. And remember, it's okay if it's dipping in. It's normal. It's fine. I'll take care of that right now. So you can start in any one of these chain two spaces that you'd like. And what we're going to do is we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're going to go back into this chain two space and we're going to work three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Now we're going to work single crochet in every stitch until we get to this chain two space. Remember to get this very first one because sometimes when you put single crochets in a corner, it hides it. So pull them over. And go into that and we're going to single crochet into the top of every stitch until we get to that chain two space All right, so I'm at the chain two space. I'm gonna go right through the space and work two single crochets. There's one, and there's two. Now in the eye of this cluster or flower or leaf right here, this hole right here, we're gonna work two half double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over and go right into this spot and we're gonna work a half double, two of them. So there's one. Go back into the same spot again, and that's two. Now in this next chain two space, which is right here, we're gonna work two single crochets. One and two. Now we're gonna work a single crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain two space. Make sure you slide that single back so you get this first stitch here. So your square don't get kind of get wonky. There's one single in every stitch until we get to the corner or our next chain two space. Now in the chain two space, we're going to work three single crochets. One, two, three. And this is what we're gonna repeat all the way around. So again, go ahead and start off by putting one single crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain two space. So this right here is my first one. And then in the chain two space right here, we go right through it and work two single crochets. Now in, in the eye of our cluster leaf puff thing, right, right here, we're gonna work two half doubles. So go right into that hole there and work. There's one half double. Back in the same spot two half doubles. Now into the next chain two space, scoot those half double crochets over right here. We're going to work two singles. There's one and two. 
Now we're going to work a single crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain 2 space. Slide this single over so you don't miss that very first stitch there. And single crochet in each one. And when you get to the chain two space, we're going to work three, three single crochets, I'm sorry, into the chain space. And then we're going to work across and do the same thing that we just did all the way around. And I'll meet back up with you right here at our starting point. All right, I have made it back to my starting point. And you should have a total of 100 stitches all the way around at the end of row six. All right, we're gonna do one more round. I'm gonna keep it with the white that I'm using. Remember, feel free to switch colors as often as you like. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this round by slip stitching into my first single crochet. There we go, I'm gonna chain one. Now, remember we put three single crochets in the corner. So the one that we just slip stitched into is our first one. So we're gonna go right back into it and we're gonna work a single crochet into that one. Now the next one is the middle of those three. We're gonna put two single crochets in the middle of those three single crochets from the previous row. So two single crochets and then that. And now we're gonna work across and we're gonna put one single crochet in every stitch, no half doubles this time, it's just strictly single crochets, until we get to the middle single crochet of the group of three in the next corner. So all the way across I go, single crochet in, in every stitch, All right, I'm coming up here to the corner. Okay, find your group of three. Right here they are. So this is my first one. I'm gonna put one single crochet into that one. And then the next one is the middle of my group of three. So I'm gonna put two single crochets into that one. We do this because it helps the corners lay flat. And now again, we're going to start by putting one single crochet in every stitch again until we get to the middle stitch of our group of three in the next corner. And in that stitch, we'll put two single crochets. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I make it back to my starting point. And that's straightening out nicely. All right, I've made it all the way around and I'm going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first single crochet, tying this off. You should have a total of 104 stitches now. And now we can just hide any tails that we have. So the center one here, some of these I hid as I went along. So let me go ahead and clip those off. I guess that was the only one. Okay, oh, here's one more. All right, yarn needle. And this is how I close up the center of the circle. I just take it and use that remaining tail. And I just go around it and I pull real tight. And I keep doing it until it shuts, closes up. Going underneath the stitches. Load that back up. Mm -hmm. 
can see I'm just going around those first row of stitches and I'm pulling really tight. There we go. Like magic, it closed. Now go back in the opposite direction to lock it up. And you can clip that one off. And then we'll hide this remaining tail up here. There it is. I like that white one. I like it just as good as I like that black one. Oh, that'd be pretty doing black and white, like uh, like a checkered blanket like that. Every other one, black and white. That's interesting. That would make a, a great, beautiful blanket. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out. Look in the link below for uh, over a thousand free crochet tutorials of mine, all free for you to enjoy. I have anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. Um, also, I'll put a link, remember how to sew up granny squares as well. Hit that like button, leave me a comment below and let me know if you're going to make these, what you're going to make with them. Bye everybody. Have a good day.